Hey folks, and welcome to Direct Kicks Vintage Video Vault, brought to you by my old pal, Corny Dalgleish. You know, there's lots of great things happening here in Canadian soccer. Hard to believe, mid-February. Still lots to talk about, because let's face it, soccer is the number one sport in Canada. And that's why we're here, and that's why we are going to get right to it, because there's some important stuff happening, and we've been talking about it for quite some time, about the Canadian uh, beach soccer team down in El Salvador. What a fantastic showing that they had recently. Um, they went down there, and I wouldn't say they were unprepared. They just didn't have a lot of time to uh, get together, and they didn't have a lot of funding either. A lot of problems and issues, but what they don't have is uh, a problem with heart, ability, skill, determination, and raw courage. I'm telling you, it was great to watch them online. Uh, to see some of the amazing highlights. These games were just really, really fun to watch. And Canada ends up fifth, in fifth place. This was a great preparation uh, for the North American Sand Soccer Tournament um, and Championships in Virginia Beach later on in the summer. We can't wait to support them on that. It ended up uh, Barra de Santiago was the eventual winners the, from uh, El Salvador. Not surprising that the uh, they have access to beaches there. Uh, we need more access to funding uh, for the Canadian beach team. Uh, they are basically self-funded and they're looking for sponsorships. So make sure you go on uh, Canada Beach Soccer uh, on the crawl. Yes, right here. And you'll learn a little bit more about the team. And we're going to help as much as we can to showcase some of the amazing highlights that they have and, and, and great personalities. You saw my, uh, if you haven't seen my interview with Shabazz, he's a great guy and he's one of the guys that helped uh, first form the Canadian team, which is a really neat story. So we'll have those stories and much more. So make sure that you support the Canadian beach soccer team as we go forward. And we wanna keep uh, the theme a little bit warm here in mid-February. And why not just go right over to a hop, skip, and jump from El Salvador to Guatemala as Canada takes on uh, the world at the under-17. Well, not the world yet. In fact, it's just CONCACAF where they are battling against the United States on Wednesday. Two undefeated teams going up uh, for the chance to go up against the world in Peru for the under-17s in November. But for now, it is bragging rights for Group F, Canada versus the United States, going at it again. The rivalry continues at a younger age. It's awesome. Watch it on One Soccer Network. I love these guys for supporting grassroots soccer, so make sure that you watch the game. Lots of great players, uh, and they are the future, let's face it. We can't wait to watch that game, Canada versus the States. Uh, so let's keep the theme going with the national team. And of course, anybody that watches and loves the game of footy here in Canada know what the actual headlines have been over the last... Whew, few days boy the canadian women's national team shocked everybody coast to coast as well as people around the world really looked at this and went wow the canadian women's team um with uh their captain christine sinclair the goat um pulled out of the she believes cup for 24 hours going on strike we kind of know the story we don't know all of it but what i want to emphasize is support of the women's national team 110 percent as they go forward these are really important games that they need in support of their team going forward for the world cup in the summer i mean we are the defending olympic champions we need to get into that tournament with our heads straight with our preparation perfect and this is what we need we need the Canada soccer business as well as the Canadian soccer to get together and figure this out so that we support them like we support our men. No, uh, let me rephrase that. We need to make sure that both men and women are supported properly. And I think that that's one of the issues that uh, both players on men's and women's side are having right now. And uh, let's hope everything gets straightened out because I am telling you, not only are the women the rock stars, 
So they're, we've always said, are the beacon that have started it. The men are the most exciting young men's side in the world. And we need, we need support from Canada Soccer Business to get this straightened out. So let's stop the negative, right, Corny? And go positive. Let's go Canada under 17s. Way to go, Canadian beach soccer and women. We love you. We're supporting you 100%. I'm telling you, you guys have done an amazing job, and we wish you all the best at the uh, She Believes Cup because we believe in you. We really do. So uh, get to it. Get on the pitch and, and do your best. We, we're really in support of what you're doing. Um, and we hope that everything gets worked out in the end because we need you. We need what you're doing for Canadian soccer. In the Beacon. And we'll talk very soon on the next edition of Direct Kicks in the Vintage Video Vault. And you know what, Corny? It's time to say goodbye. <laughs>